It's the big summer getaway, but not the one they were hoping for. In Paris, disappointed travellers scrambling to the UK in a race against time. At Calais, Eurotunnel quickly became fully booked as drivers, hoping to beat the quarantine deadline, were told to not turn up without a booking. I would have stayed in France longer, but um, I don't want to do the two weeks quarantine, which starts at four o'clock tomorrow morning. So I am um, I'm, uh, going now. The 14-day isolation requirement was announced late last night. So for those who made it to London on the Eurostar this morning, there was relief. There's a lot of people that would be like waking up to the news, having to panic, having to buy tickets. And most trains and stuff in the afternoon were booked. We are actually really lucky that we were awake and willing to get the first train home. For these students, the threat of losing work was enough to make them return home three days early. If I didn't work for two weeks, I, it would really, really affect my life and my bank account. And so it's better to spend 200 quid to come back very, very quickly than it is to stay and not be able to work. The restrictions will also apply to travellers returning from other destinations such as the Netherlands, Monaco and Malta. The Transport Secretary has defended giving them notice of 30 hours before the 4am deadline tomorrow. I'm gutted for people whose holidays are being destroyed, but it is important that we protect our hard-won gains in the UK where we've worked so hard to get our own coronavirus levels um, down and we're really keen to keep it that way. The government's measurement method for imposing quarantine is based on the number of cases per 100,000 going above 20. France now has more than 32. Portugal stays on the quarantine list with more than 25. The Netherlands have risen to more than 40. Malta has nearly 75. And Spain is the worst hit with more than 100 per 100,000. Meanwhile, the UK is creeping ever closer at 18.5. As France warned it would take what it called reciprocal measures against the UK, this British tourist leaving Calais wondered if Boris Johnson had done the right thing. I'd rather we looked at the bigger picture, the same in, as in the UK, like Leicester shut down. Instead of just closing the whole of France and expecting everyone to dash back, he could have done different areas where there's more cases. The government says 160,000 British holidaymakers are currently in France. They have less than 12 hours to return to avoid self-isolating. Julian Drucker, 5 News.